Hi, welcome to this next episode of Bachelor Remedies with Dr. Amit. We have seen a few remedies, we have discussed a few philosophical aspects. Today we are not going to see any remedy, but uh, we are going to discuss about uh, one practical or philosophical aspect. The question is, we do know few remedies, but when will we start believing in them? Or we do know many things in life, but when do, when do we believe, start believing in those things? And that's the question that we are going to discuss today. Uh, there was a phone call by one of my patients who is a regular subscriber to uh, our channel and she was asking me that now I know 10 remedies and after watching these remedies I can I could correlate these remedies with few of my friends and relatives. Uh, so can I give these remedies to uh, those people because I, I feel they really need these remedies. And But I just know 10 remedies so we I don't know all the remedies so can I give them. I said obviously obviously you should try. You might be wrong because that was that's what her anxiety was that she said but I may be wrong. I said it's perfectly fine to be wrong but do try these remedies on your friends and uh, get a first hand experience of uh, the healing. I personally believe that uh, as I said we do know a number of things but when we when do we start believing is when we actually try uh, those things and when, when we see the results. We can see the results by actually giving these remedies to people and then uh, getting a very positive feedback from them. Or we can actually see uh, yourself treated by some other person and then you start believing in that therapy. Or you can actually see a case in front of you when somebody gave that remedy and there was a drastic change in that particular patient. So that's when we start believing. Otherwise, we do know a number of uh, things in life, but we don't believe in them. There are so many people who are usually told every day that try flower remedies, try bachelor remedies, but they don't come to us. They don't come to us because they don't believe in it. They just know that there is a therapy called bachelor remedy and uh, it works on emotional difficulties, but they don't come to us because they don't believe in it. So when, when, when do they believe in it? Because either when they will come to us or, I, or otherwise when they will see that effect. I would like to share two cases of mine uh, which helped me to start believing in these remedies and that belief has uh, really boosted my confidence uh, a lot till now. The first remedy was Cerato. I would, uh, uh, I was a very voracious reader uh, in my college days and I remember that uh, in 1995-96 when I was in medical school. Uh, I used to buy a lot many books uh, from the exhibitions. There used to be an exhibition uh, near uh, Nilayam Talkies, that's near Pune, uh, that was Arya Durga Homeo Pharmacy. And they used to have uh, uh, an exhibition of homeopathic books uh, that they had, I think around January or February. And I used to uh, go there regularly and I used to a lot of books. Uh, I had bought a few bachelor remedy books from that exhibition. And uh, so in 90, not even nine, yeah, 95, I, I had bought, bought those books, but uh, till 2005, uh, I hardly practiced Bachelor Remedy or 2003, I hardly practiced Bachelor Remedy. I tried reading those books, uh, but I, I couldn't understand those remedies uh, because those were alphabetically written. And then Somehow, somehow, I I used to I used to try reading those remedies, but uh, I hardly understood any of them. Uh, it was around uh, I think 2002-2003 when uh, uh, there was a patient of mine who used to call me every day almost to ask a lot many questions. Uh, there were there were very small questions about uh, doctor. Can I have uh, rice and dal as as for my breakfast? I used to say, yeah, you can have. The next day, he used to have a query. Uh, Doctor, can I uh, go for a morning walk with her slippers or with uh, just floaters? Or should I use sports shoes? I used to say, fine, if you are not going to jog or run, then you can have floaters. But it's better to have sports shoes. Hmm. Then again, next day, he used to call with some, uh, some, some question. Some small questions, which I usually used to feel that you should not be asking anybody. Let... 
leave aside just asking that to the doctor but you don't need to ask anybody for that matter should i uh, instead of one hour after the nap should i take two hour after the nap at the age of 70 okay yeah uh, take two hours two hours uh, nap no big deal in that so i was actually getting disturbed by those phone calls because my in my regular uh, clinic hours he used to call and he used to ask me uh, those questions i didn't know what homeopathic remedies to give and uh, there was a wedding of one of my friends and in that wedding i met uh, one of my seniors dr jayesh vaishampayan uh, dr jayesh uh, was my uh, was my senior and we were attending a wedding um, and he just asked me uh, do do you use flower remedies i said yeah i have books but i don't uh, i don't i don't understand them so i, I haven't tried them he said try them they are really very good uh, in uh, certain temperamental issues and certain emotional issues so i told him about this patient i said ki can you can you help me with this patient because he is really making me restless and uh, disturbed every day so he told me give sirato i didn't know anything about it but then i just thought that instead of reading sirato let's just give a try what jayesh is saying and i bought a small bottle of sirato and i started giving uh, he said give it four times a day so i started giving four times a day sirato to uh, that patient and to my surprise within one or half one or two months he completely stopped asking me any questions and he used to get his own answers so he didn't feel any need to call me and confirm his uh, uh his thoughts uh, or confirm his decisions so that was a miraculous effect that i i saw of sirato that was the only remedy i had in 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 those days and that was the first remedy i tried and after that result as i know that i knew that there is something i knew that there are flower remedies i knew there is there are people who practice flower remedies but after i saw that 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 effect uh it was a complete change of mind for me and i started believing in flower remedies and then i started reading everything now uh, i started reading i started practicing i started trying those remedies on my patients then i got a uh, good experience and in nine in uh, 2015 no 2005 sorry this was 2005 so in 2005 and 2006 um i did a uh, uh, the uh, a formal course with british institute of homeopathy london uh, on bachelor remedies and i became a bachelor practitioner uh, a registered bachelor practitioner from british institute of homeopathy so basically uh, that's the Uh, that's the travel so from 1995 till uh, 2003 i hardly read them i hardly uh, tried them because i just knew that there are certain remedies but in 2003 i actually saw the result and i started believing in in those remedies and now uh, i'm i my practice is uh, incomplete without flower remedies so the gist is uh, do try these remedies on people because you will never start believing in them until unless you use them and you uh, you practice them and you see those results it's quite possible that uh, you might not get those results uh, in the initial days try some other remedies try thinking uh, or try looking at the case from a different angle uh, we have discussed about how to uh, select the remedies by uh, asking what i need to add or what i need to reduce in a patient i uh, will again have a video on that particular thing maybe we will we will cover couple of uh, remedies now and we will have uh, that thing or you can wait uh, till april because in april uh, from 13th of april uh, that is gudi padwa uh, i would be starting my uh, online youtube course Uh, you don't need to enroll for that you just need to subscribe to this channel and you will get those notification that course is going to be in hindi uh, and english because there are so many queries that i get that th- these uh, videos should be in hindi so i'll be starting a course in english so hindi and english mixed uh, so that will be a course that if you follow that course uh, over the next 40 50 videos you will understand batch for remedies so i will share everything in in that particular course so nothing will be kept aside uh, but for that i would need you to subscribe to this channel i would need you to share this channel with people and i would need you to send me queries by sending uh, an email 
uh, don't write queries in uh, comment section because uh, as i said i don't have a team so i don't uh, usually browse the comment section uh, very regularly uh, but send me uh, an, an email and it will be easier for me to respond to that email or keep keep a note of uh, those queries for my for my course so send me uh, as many emails that you can on uh, our email id that is swarupclinic at gmail.com and uh, do share this channel uh, do send me your feedbacks do send me your uh, inputs and uh, 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 all your suggestions that i can have uh, please 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 share this channel and uh, for regular videos and he on health homeopathy and bash for remedies i hope you have liked this video uh, we'll meet with some remedies and some philosophical and practical aspects in our few next videos Goodbye and thank you.